ഹലോ എവ്രി വൺ ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ വർഷ ഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി കൺസൾട്ടൻറ്റ് ഗർഭകുടി ഐ വി എഫ് സെൻറ്റർ ബാംഗ്ലൂർ ടുഡേ വി വിൽ നോ അബൌട്ട് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ദ ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ആസ്പെക്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് വി വിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇൻഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി ഇൻഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി ഈസ് ലൈക്ക് വെൻ ദ കപ്പിൾ ട്രൈസ് വൺ ഇയർ ഓഫ് അൺപ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റഡ് സെക്ഷൽ ഇൻറ്റർപോസ് In in spite of that, that they are having difficulty in conceiving, that is called as infertility. So, normally how the conception happens? When the natural sexual contact happens, the sperms will be released in the vagina of the wife. Those sperms will ascend up into the uterus and the uterine tube. In the uterine tube, the sperms will meet the egg. they both will fertilize and form an embryo that embryo after growing it will come back to uterus and in the uterus it will stick after that pregnancy starts growing this is how natural pregnancy or fertility happens now we will understand what are the different types of fertility treatments first one is called as ovulation induction and timed intercourse it is called as oi and ti okay in this usually we call the patient on day 2 or day 3 of her cycle we'll do the scanning and see whether the ovaries and the uterus are at a baseline state after confirming this we will give medication for the follicular development in between the cycle we will be calling the patient for the follicular monitoring whether the follicle is growing or not if it is not growing in a proper pace we will be giving a jones like hormone injections to supplement it so once the follicle grows to a particular size of 18 to 20 mm we will be giving the maturation injection after that we will be advising the patient for the intercourse for a next particular days and sup, uh, supplementing the medication in the luteal phase okay uh, the success rate of this treatment will be around 5 to 10% the next fertility treatment is iui what is iui it is an intrauterine insemination here similar way how we do the ovulation induction in oiti we will be giving or uh, doing the scan giving the tablet for the follicular development and tracking the follicular growth in the scans in between the cycles once the follicle grows we will be giving the maturation injection after that like once the follicle ruptures we will be doing an iui instead of natural right we will be doing an iui here so what is iui so normally the semen of a husband contains both good quality bad quality and gland secretions everything it's a mixture of all the products but in the iui we will be filtering the semen so that only the good uh, sperms which are having a good count and good healthy motile sperms we will be injecting these uh, good quality motile sperms directly into the wife's uterus with the help of a small catheter called iui catheter so this is iui process so what is the success rate of iui it is around 15 to 20 percent third uh, fertility treatment option is ivf what is ivf in vitro fertilization so in this what we will do on the day 2 or day 3 of the cycle we call the patient for the scanning see whether the uterus and the ovaries are at a baseline state or not after confirming in the scan we will be giving few hormonal uh, blood tests once the hormone test and the scan is uh, okay looks okay then we will start the stimulation the in the stimulation there will be a 10 to 12 days approximately like daily injections will be there which will aim at development of the multi follicular growth in the iui and oiti we will aim for one or two follicles but in the ivf we will try to aim for a multi follicular growth that is like more number of x uh, production 
so once the eggs are matured we will be doing the egg retrieval procedure means like we will be taking out the whatever the follicles and the uh, eggs are grown in the body those are taken out in the IVF OT that will be screened and the, with the mature eggs uh, each mature egg will be injected by your sperm under the microscope by a embryologist and keeping those uh, exceed oocyte for the embryo formation once the embryos are formed on the day 3 or day 5 we will be freezing the embryos and after this we will be preparing the lining of the uterus for the embryo transfer procedure once the lining of the uterus is ready we will be doing the embryo transfer so uh, the IVF success rate is about 45 to 50 percent and like next question is like do we need IVF, IUI or OITI which treatment will suit our case like this is a question that will be determined by uh, determined by the fertility consultant depending on your age factor the number of years you are married for and the ovarian reserve you have and uh, what is the sperm quality semen quality of your husband what is a count motility and morphology and any associated conditions like uh, endometriosis fibroids pcod looking at all these like parameters the fertility consultant will decide which treatment is better for you thank you